Well, what's up, Stock Money Nation? Welcome here to the channel today. If you like making money or you want to know the hot stocks for tomorrow, you know I got you. If this is your first time joining me or you don't know who I am, let me start off by thanking you and then introducing myself. I am Stock Money Aston, your financial friend. Also, I'll be your coach to success in the stock market. My job is to find great stocks at great prices to get in at, and then I share them with you because I've been investing and trading in the market for over 10 years and I know how to win. And I want you to get in on some of this, family. The hedge funds, the big boy billionaires, and the banks, man, they have been eating. So it's time for us to get in the game and even the score. So in today's video, we'll be taking a look at how the overall market finished today so we can look at things from a macro level. I'll show you my three picks from yesterday and how they finished so we can assess and know how to plan going ahead. And then I'll give you my three hot stock picks for tomorrow so that you can get in on all all this goodness baby and afterwards i'll be going over the latest developments in the cryptocurrency world so if you're into bitcoin and things like that you definitely want to stay tuned i'm not here to sell you anything or promote anybody's product so in three two one let's get it so looking at the overall market today we can see that the dow jones was up about six tenths of a percent the s p was up again today about a tenth of a percent set new highs once again and then the nasdaq was down about two tenths of a percent so relatively flat on the s p and the nasdaq now guys keep in mind every day that the market goes up and sets new records you take on more risk if you're putting new money to work so always remember that glancing at my first pick from yesterday which was amc it finished the day up barely about a quarter of a percent or up 13 cents to end the day at 56.56. The intraday low was 54.65 and the intraday high was 58.18. Now, me, myself, I was not able to get in on this one because I wanted it to be down 10% before I jumped in. But if you had quick hands and if you got it on some weakness, you could have got out of this one today with profits. Congratulations to anyone who was able to do that. And my second pick from yesterday was Disney. DIS is a ticker symbol. This one finished up a little bit over 1% or up $2.05 to finish today at 175.98. The intraday low was 173.34 and the intraday high was 175.98. This one started off the day with some weakness and then proceeded to charge on for the rest of the day. If you were up early and able to get in this one this morning, you should have made off with some profits today. So good job. And my final pick from yesterday was Southwest Airlines, ticker symbol LUV. Now this one finished the day up about 0.3% or up 17 cents to end the day at $53.09. The intraday low was 52.84 and the intraday high was 53.56. Now this one did not provide much weakness to get in on today, but if you did pick some up, just hang tight because it should be brighter days in the future. And also if it goes down, I'll be scooping up more of this because they should have a strong travel somewhere ahead. All right, and now proceeding on to the money makers for tomorrow. My number one pick for tomorrow is Baidu, ticker symbol B-I-D-U. Baidu is an internet-based company and they are a heavyweight in China. Think of Google meets Facebook meets Netflix. That's Baidu. Looking at the chart, Baidu finished the day down about 2% or down $3.77 to finish at $203.90. Now it's been a rough year for all Chinese stocks here in America, but I'll be looking to pick this one up on some weakness tomorrow and hopefully I can get some quick profits. If not, I don't mind holding this one because they have a great story and the Chinese economy is booming. And now my number two pick for tomorrow is Chewy.com, ticker symbol C-H-W-Y. If you watch my channel, you should already be familiar with this one. This is going to be the one-stop shot for everything pets in the future. Looking at the chart, Chewy was down a little bit over 2.5% today, or down $2.17 to finish the day at $79.71. I wouldn't be surprised if Chewy continued to fall tomorrow, and that's where I'll be looking to get in at on any weakness, because this one has been a money maker lately. And going forward as a company, Chewy will be turning a profit soon, and from there, the sky's the limit. And my last pick for tomorrow, number three, is Palantir Technology ticker symbol PLTR. I've mentioned this stock in my previous videos as well, but what can I say? When money makers give you another chance to get in on them, why not? You guys should be familiar with this company, but if you're not, just know that they make softwares that's utilized by the government and plenty of businesses. The government is their main source of income and most likely will be recurring revenue. And everybody knows when you do business with the government, that's good money. And they've got close ties to the CIA, so that ought to tell you how top-notch their product is. Now, looking at the chart, Palantir here finished down about 1% today or down 27 cents to finish at $26.36. 
I'll be looking to pick this one up on any weakness because Palantir stock is down so much in the past year, it has plenty of room to go. And plus, they just keep picking up new contracts, seems like, every day. And everyone, don't forget, we go green here. It's okay to recycle these plays. As long as they look like they can make us some money, we should have no problem getting in and out of them. I want to get you in when the stock price is providing you with a deal and a great opportunity to make money. Other companies will come into play when their stock prices come down because I don't like to chase stocks and I don't want to get you in at the top. But just know, I'm keeping an eye on the market and I'll let you know when I spot something that catches my attention and that wraps up all of my plays for tomorrow so let's look forward to making this stock money so now that we're prepped for tomorrow let's move on to my thoughts about cryptocurrency and bitcoin so that everybody can be up to speed lately there have been a lot of developments and you need to be aware of these things so you can make sound investments if you didn't know el salvador's president decided to make bitcoin legal tender in september so that's a good thing for the cryptocurrency world now on the flip side of that china outlawed crypto miners not too long ago now if you're unaware of what miners are let me help you out for a second i'll break it down they basically are the network of computers behind the blockchain technology they help create the cryptocurrencies and then facilitate the transactions. so basically without miners there is no cryptocurrency now why did china shut down the miners supposedly they're banning them because of energy consumption because when you mine these supercomputers need a lot of energy and a lot of power to process the transactions but also they're creating their own digital currency which will compete with bitcoin and the others and when the news dropped of this it hurt bitcoin's price a Another blow to Bitcoin came last week when the UK decided to ban a platform that lets you buy and sell cryptos. There was probably something shady going on or some funny business involved. Then Bitcoin caught a break when one of Mexico's billionaires embraced it, but soon after the country said the banks cannot utilize it in transactions. All in all, it's been an up and down two weeks for cryptocurrencies, and they like to move a lot on the holidays, so just be aware of this upcoming July 4th. I don't know what's going to happen and nobody else does, but the winning strategy since forever has just been buy on the dips. That's my strategy and I'm sticking to it. And remember guys, I am not a financial advisor, nor do I know the future. Everything I present to you is just for educational purposes only and my own personal opinion. You should always do your own due diligence and do your own research so that you know how to proceed. If anything I said in this video resonated with you, hit that like button and subscribe to the channel and turn on that notification bell if you want to stay up to date with the hot stocks because we always going to be making money. And with that said, just know you're beautiful, you are special to somebody, and I love you. I'll see you in the next one, fam. Peace.